This strong Jamaican woman needs absolutely no introduction. A child of the soil, from the belly of the crucible of West Kingston, from which the music emerged. Only recently, she reminded us that reggae music pulsates daily across Kingston, UNESCO's creative city of music, with the rhythm and the spirit of the people of Jamaica. And that is exactly what we celebrate in Reggae Month each year. Ladies and gentlemen, she's equally comfortable among kings and queens as with a common man. Some call her Babsy, but she is officially the Honorable Olivia Grange, Minister of Culture, Gender, Entertainment, and Sport. I speak to you on the occasion of the virtual launch of the 14th staging of the only month-long festival of its kind anywhere in the world, Reggae Month. By custom, we would be sending out invitations to the world to join us in Jamaica for Reggae Month in February. However, amid the throes of a global pandemic, we ask you to join our virtual celebration of Reggae Month this year. We can still get together and feel all right, even from a distance. A lot of creatives have been severely impacted by being grounded as the pandemic wreaks havoc on all sectors of the economy. We have been able to offer some assistance, small though it may be, to a number of creatives thus far, and we plan to reach others in the new year. For though we are not able to have the kinds of in-person gatherings on which our music thrives, we are not daunted by the challenges. After all, we are a people of a glorious ancestry, a people who have used the experiences of our past to create reggae music whose rhythms the world recognizes and loves. Our reggae music has been a ray of hope that every little thing is gonna be all right, a platform on which to fight for equal rights and justice and a means to economic prosperity. In this regard, we want Reggae Month 2021 to signal the start of a process of building back stronger towards an even brighter and more dynamic future. We will use Reggae Month to increase even further the capacity of our technical creatives through virtual workshops in such areas as sound engineering, lighting, and stage management. We will also use the opportunity to organize master classes in areas in which we believe there is a knowledge deficit. Such areas as publishing, the different forms of music rights, and other areas which will put our songwriters, musicians, and artists on the right path to truly earning from their creative works. We will promote strategic interactions among the world's creatives through our online reggae university. In this way, we'll expand the dialogue on the needs of the creative sector as we continue to position reggae among the world's most vibrant brands. One such area in which we hold much hope is on the stage of the Grammy Awards, for whilst we are heartened by the increasing visibility the music enjoys in the performance on the annual awards show, I have a vision that one day soon, the Grammy Award in the reggae category will be handed out on the main stage. To the great creators of this musical force, I say, remain steadfast and let the music continue to speak for itself. Let the music continue to open doors.